Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I'm here with Katrina, and we're both from Peregrine. <laughs> it's Tyler from Peregrine, and I'm here with my wife Katrina, and we're back with season two of Thank God It's Happy Hour. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and if you've got someone special, we've got the drink. Let's make some fish bowls. So, why should you make a fishbowl versus two separate drinks? Well, the short answer is because it's just way more fun. And that was really enough answer that we needed. The basic recipe for the Notorious Fishbowl is pretty straightforward. You're going to want an approachable, medium-proof cocktail that's fun to drink. Unless you're looking for a trip to the gutter, I would recommend keeping the alcoholic portion of this drink to two to three ounces per person. So this works really well with recipes where you can add fruit juice or other non-alcoholic components. And fish bowls are also a really fun way to experiment with drinks that maybe are a little sweeter than you're used to if you're more into bitter or uh, more proofy cocktails. I find the amount of ice that we use to fill the bowl uh, definitely makes the sweetness a little bit more approachable. And sweet, fruity, fun drinks are uh, definitely better for this than drinks maybe with a more nuanced or delicate flavor profile. That definitely doesn't mean that the drink has to be boring though. And to show how we can change things up, we're going to take a recipe from season one, episode one of Thank God It's Happy Hour and use the summer zombie. It's a super approachable, fun, tropical drink, uh, actually from our friends up at Sons of Vancouver in North Van. Uh, and it's going to be the perfect opportunity to show how we turn a normal cocktail recipe into one for a fishbowl. And we're actually going to prep both uh, and compare them. So let's get going. We're going to throw the recipe for the summer zombie up on the screen and throw one together for you. For a bit of a different look, let's serve this one in a cold glass and float our amaretto over the surface of the drink. So there you go, the summer zombie. Let's give it a try. I mean, you guys already know this is one of our favorites. Um, super balanced, super tropical. It's yeah, it's just a great example of a balanced tiki drink. And actually the amaretto adds a nice, I think it takes the place of like orjo in some recipes where it adds that sort of nutty, sweet almond sort of flavor that works really nicely with the pineapple juice and the rum and it all sort of comes together really, really nicely. What's cool actually with both of these rums is um, they're super smooth. So it sort of just gives you this sort of undercurrent of that pleasant, boozy, sort of rummy um, impression. It just you know falls right into place you don't you hardly even notice the rum except for that like pleasant kind of rummy undercurrent what do you think yeah i think the lime makes it finish a little bit more tart mm -hmm. so that you just want to keep keep drinking yeah and it's not necessarily like a long evolution drink like it definitely no. there's not a well there's a lot happening in a short period of yeah. time so it's yeah i mean it's great i don't know i don't really know what else you could look for in a good one. So let's upsize this drink and make it the perfect thing for sharing. So since we are making this drink for two people, we're gonna stick to about five to six ounces of the actual booze content and then use the fruit juice just to taste. We're gonna build this guy in our shaker, so I've already got a little bit of ice in there. We're gonna start with two ounces of our dark rum and one ounce of our light rum. For our rums in this one, uh, our dark rum is an eight ounce Appleton Estate, and our white rum is an uh, actual four year aged uh, white rum from Fort Canon. So they should be nice and smooth and perfect to mix with fruit juices like we are. So once our rums are in there, I'm going to juice this lime. 
And we're actually going for a full ounce of lime juice. Yeah, if it's winter, it's probably about a whole lime's worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna add eight ounces of pineapple juice. And while she does that, I'm gonna prep our clamshell fish bowl here with some ice. There we go. You want to shake it together really quickly just to cool it off. Mix those ingredients up. And then you can just actually free pour it since there's so much ice in there already. A little extra won't hurt. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Looks like we measured. <laughs> Almost. And then to recreate the amaretto float that we did earlier, which we thought was kind of cool, we're going to add an ounce of amaretto just over the top of the ice as a little float. And to garnish this guy up, pluck out a couple cheapy palm fronds there, and we're good to go. Perfect. Now, you can top this up with a little bit of seltzer or club soda. We're not going to for this one. We're just gonna leave it as is. There we go. We've got our summer zombole. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's what you want it to be. Yeah, it's kind of nice and like rummy, but it's not too boozy. And it's not too sweet. It's not like yeah. you're drinking like a whole big thing of juice. Yeah. It's definitely like still very reminiscent of a cocktail. Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. Pretty delicious. I, I like it a little bit better than the original recipe. I just think this drink was maybe made to have volume. Fair enough. Oh, that's yeah. a good Valentine's that's, Day right there. <laughs> that's what you want in a fish bowl. It's sweet. <laughs> it's boozy. Yeah. It makes you want to come back and drink more. Like, yeah, that yeah, is. It really does. That actually. is about perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That is really good. I think this one is pretty different from the base cocktail. I actually find it a lot less sweet. Maybe it's just the amount of ice or maybe the volume, but I definitely find it less sweet. Well, and I find the pineapple juice, when it's undiluted in the first one, it's just chilled. It has, like, more body. It's more of, yeah. like, a, like, not a thick cocktail, but it's, not, it's like the difference between, like, cream and water. Like, this just has that little bit less body to it. Yeah, totally. I feel like I taste the rum a little bit more in this one which is interesting because yeah. it's like way way less by uh by percentage so anyway but i feel like all in all it's a pretty close recreation of like, like yeah cocktail. yeah it's pretty close so there you go there's a quick primer in turning your favorite fruity cocktails into supersized versions that are great for sharing we'd love to hear what drinks you want to turn into a fishbowl so let us know in the comments below be sure to follow along for season two of thank god it's happy hour and like comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one cheers cheers it's kind of hard to cheers this one. <laughs>